Hey yo, my planet coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and I am joined with a Zephyr. Howdy, everyone. Welcome back to another Park Spotlight Contest Edition. Today we're looking at Vayuna Makai. <laughs> That's a tough one, and it's created by AKA Superman. And here they say, "Welcome to Mayuna Makai, or Mountain of the Sea. This Polynesian paradise is sure to give you good vibes." So long as you stay by the ocean and don't wander too far. Originally, I started this contest with a completely different theme and I could not get into the flow of things to make it work the way I want I envisioned. While chatting on Discord with Hula King uh, about trying to help him find a theme to use, I became inspired to go this direction based on the suggestion about them using their own Discord handle to build around. So a week and a half into the contest, I started from scratch. Oh, it's dedicated <laughs> to Hula King and any new builders that may feel completely lost when where to start when first getting the hang of the game. I don't think he took my suggestion, but that's okay. We all start somewhere and inspiration can come from anywhere. Now, briefly about the park, Mi Mayuna Makai includes three coasters, four flat rides, multiple shops, and even a fireworks show. You should be starting at the guest spawn point when you load up the game. As you wind your way through the beachfront village, keep your eyes peeled for numerous Easter eggs and shoutouts littered throughout the jungle. All the people who have submitted fonts to the Steam Workshop go got a sponsored ride, and Discord members who give me feedback and courage got a tiki dedicated to them. Hula King should be the most obvious. The fireworks sequencer, which I recommend be saved for last, can be found in the main plaza across from the Rocktopus. And lastly, look out for the traditional island luau, which may make some folks as mad as Tiki, but be sure to bring a smile to your face. Good luck to all contest entrants, and thank you again to Hula King for being named, well, Hula King. <laughs> all right, very interesting introduction. Stay tuned, everyone, and let's get into it. Okay, we are here in a cave. Mayuni, Mayuna, Makai. Mauna, Makai. Ma Mauna. I think. I'm trying. I, I say it different every time. I'm not Polynesian. Hey, we got the ambient sounds. It's feeling good. The moment we step in. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, we got, we got the whirly rig. Hells yes. <laughs> okay, wow. This is like definitely a different take on the tropical build pieces. It feels way more like festive and playful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels like a little party village. And whatever you got going up up there, uh, it looks that must be the fireworks show. He said, he said, save it to last, but considering yeah, look it's at, a there's a flat ride, a hammer swing at the very top, pivoty top of the mountain. Yeah, that's really cool looking. That's a great way to place it down. Like that, that's going to give some really cool perspectives. Polynesian paradise. Sign. Yeah, that's a really nice sign. I don't know where to start. Do we go to the paradise? Why not? I'm down for some paradise. Oh yeah, there's some shout outs on the tiki huts for certain builders, I guess. Mm -hmm. Surfboards and all sorts of fun things. Seconds, trading hut. Okay, so their names are uh, shops. Uh, yeah, and people that helped them create this amazing park. Capital Thrills, Bukhul, Mystic Bacon Guy, Kaiser Wolf, Vanessa. Kaiser Sozi. Is that how you say it? Kaiser, yeah. German for king. Luau. Luau. Ooh. Testable powers. Sponsorship. <laughs> Let's go test your powers. Oh, we're going powers. underground. Wow, this is a long queue. As if there wasn't enough above ground. Oh, this is the coaster. This is the main coaster. Whoa. I No, it's not. This is a side coaster. It's also is... under the sea. <laughs> this is the reverse freefall. Oh. Where's... Oh, it just ends there and goes back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a shuttle coaster. Oh, that's such a cool viewpoint, too. Yeah, it is. That's our other curl. Well, let's reverse it. 
There's the sad spike. You don't really need them. Here we go. Let's leave them without you. Holy crap, that is action packed. <laughs> It's a coaster type you don't see used very often, but they did a really nice job. I think I've seen it twice in my time on the park spotlights. Mm-hmm. And they weren't themed at all. They're just there. <laughs> right. So that's that's the best one by a landslide. <laughs> <laughs> best reverse freefall we've ever seen in the history of Planet Coaster. Yeah, please don't submit that as an action coaster. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Octopus. Makes sense. You don't have to do much theming with this one, but nice custom roof. And this one's sponsored by Fog. So I'm assuming this is going to be another main attraction. Or the other main attraction. It looks like a single rail basilisk. It's a kind of a really unique take on it because it's just a one one car train. Ooh. And it's really compact. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, the elements are really... If, you, if this was a full chain train, it yeah. would have been janky. But I'm really you know. curious to see how this goes. Yeah, there's a look at the stats. Nothing too absurd. Only 200 meters. 34 yeah. seconds. It's like a freaking... Flat ride. Yeah, it's tiny, but it's, it's really cool. I like the way it sort of wraps around the, the scenery. Yeah, let's check this out. Ooh. I mean, yeah, you managed to get some interesting viewpoints there. Considering how tiny that is, yeah. There's a lot of little visuals in there. I like that as an extra. I do as well. I think it, there's a, a few places where it's maybe a little too tight. And I also would have changed the color of the train. The bright blue doesn't seem to mm. mesh well with Even the... Even that one single car looked like it was about to fold in half. <laughs> we can barely <laughs> make it through there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, look at this giant tiki. It's, nice. Oh, uh, that's a great miniature shop. Yeah, that's really Definitely nice. upload that. That is so simplistic and perfect. La la la. That's for the woolly rig. So there's like this whole upper park that we haven't even seen. And I could have sworn there was a lower... Okay, that's for that. It's a really cool view, though. So how do we make our way up top? I guess up here. Uh, yeah. Jungle work's looking really nice too. Like, holy crap. We have ambient sounds. I, ho spires. I hope, you, hope you've exercised because this would be a nightmare on your calves. <laughs> right? I can feel the shin splints already. <laughs> we, need, we need an elevator ride in Planet Coaster. <laughs> well, we've got this uh, flat ride with the tree, which is really nicely done. Oh. Let's watch this. Yeah, it looks really nice at, uh, at night as well. I've seen a few people do the tree flat ride things, and I quite like that. Ooh. <laughs> like, you have lava down there, too. Yeah, this is um, some really contrasting light like at daytime it's like party time but then at nighttime it almost looks menacing <laughs> doesn't it um i, I don't know I, it, it feels very sort of like hawaiian polynesian with just like the torches everywhere it looks angry to me <laughs> well the volcano yeah that doesn't look very that looks like it's ready to party in its own specific way <laughs> The Tiki Tanga Tuau Tumbler. Yeah, that's a good sign. Chapsol. Yeah. yeah, he's the one that did the font. OK. 
Okay, I'm not sure if we should be doing this one at nighttime or not, but we're going for it. There's lava everywhere, so... That's good. Is this the RMC Wait, now hybrid? we're going. We went all the way up just so we could go back down. That seems a little <laughs> unfair. There's yeah. another side to it as well. Everyone in this park has to pee, by the way. What's happening here? You are walking for miles. Yeah, huh, we're all the way up, all the way down. Now we've made it to a hybrid. Wow. Green across the board. Left. Decent duration on this. Some air time, inversions, three. Geforce is a tiny bit high, but doable for a game. How do Absolutely. you want to sit on this? Uh, well, either C or track is probably smoothest, but... We go to the back? Sure. kind of represented the intensity of the coaster through the design of the track which is kind of also brilliant yeah it was a it was a fun fun layout short it's what? shorter than i expected but yeah it's uh it, it's fun i really like the uh the theming on the lift hill as well that was really nice let's let's check this out again in track at daytime yeah that's i, I agree i think daytime it needs a daytime run quite gnarly I quite like gnarly. it <laughs> yeah it's fun yeah a couple points where you know obviously a forward roll is kind of insane and yeah. not pra not practical yeah um, and you hit the heart line at a heart line thousand roll. miles an hour yeah a little too fast <laughs> but but I mean it's it's a lot of fun a lot of good ideas and the the lift hill looks looks really good really really nicely done with the lift hill mm-hmm those custom supports are phenomenal yeah, that's a lot of fun. And then you did manage to sneak this flat ride up here, which I have to check out. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Probably at night, too, with the fire. We'll do a little bit of both, because I want to see good. what the island looks like from here. Get that thing swinging. <laughs> it's not even at a half swing yet. So this thing swings completely vertical, doesn't it? Yeah, it should. It should go beyond vertical. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I really like these in real life, these rides. Yeah. My, uh, the match mount in the park near me just got... At the time, the biggest one in the world a couple years ago, and then it's been surpassed by, I think, one in uh, in New Jersey. We gotta watch the fireworks from here. Nice. Perfect vantage point. <laughs> Where did they say they wanted us to watch the fireworks from? Oh. So we gotta go check those out now. Love that flat uh, ride. I think it said something about a tiki hut, but I don't know which... There's like 20 tiki huts. 
Well, nonetheless, we could just watch it from here. This is pretty oh. spectacular. Yeah, I think they were just saying where the where the sequencer to start them is. I don't, so wherever you get a nice view is good. Well, we caught it just in time. I love the way this kind of rolls backwards, Ooh. this whole park. And mm -hmm. uh, the, the amount of depth you fit in there, there's even that underground uh, ride with the reverse yeah. coaster, and then the way the, the RMC's kind of integrated to the top of the mountain like that with the custom supports. It really has a lot of verticality and depth to the whole park, and I really appreciate that. Now, you did build this like whole lava thing off to the side, and I quite like it. Technically, it's a little bit cheaty because this is a whole bunch of stuff, but I <laughs> completely a pass in my opinion. I, if more people would have done this, I wouldn't have minded. You know, it's. I mean, I look it's, at it's it as just like trees. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's a lot of pieces to make the orange, but I mean, if you could f color the water orange, then it'd be like you know. Yes. It, they, it, they would get the same effect, you know. In, in the theory, pieces. we said you could put rocks, trees, and things on the outside. That's not yeah. far off. It's lava. It's still scenery, um, which we allowed. But it does add that, like, kind of brings the whole mountain together. It just really adds a little something to it. A little coastline. It's looking really good. They've got uh, a <clears throat> Augie's box cat being spit roasted by the penguins off to the side near the lava as well. What? <laughs> I must see this. Uh, with with the, the, the four little huts. <gasps> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> uh, the box cat's loving it though. Yeah, he loves everything. <gasps> there you go. <laughs> Bam. There we go. There, I contributed. Put my name on a hut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. <clears throat> this. This is this here is like the, my favorite thing ever. I, it's I a really cool station, isn't it? <clears throat> Just like the way it's tied in with like ropes and vines and the crazy rooftop, but then the coaster behind it with the suspension bridges. It's freaking gnarly. And then you have that in the backdrop and it interweaves. If you can come up with complex designs like this where it's multi layered, it, it's always so interesting to look at to me, you know? I and love they did it. a really good job considering like they've got paths going absolutely everywhere of the paths not becoming like a. Scrambling mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. No, yeah, yeah, you're definitely right. But that's also because the way you've roped them in and they, they're finished. They have those finishing touches. Stunning. I gotta tell you, uh, I have no idea what I'm gonna pick for this expert bracket. <laughs> <laughs> well, you still got quite a few more to go? Yeah, I do. But from what I've seen so far, absolutely all of you guys are just making this impossible but i'm only i'm i get one vote so my, my vote won't even make a difference <laughs> well maybe <laughs> you never know sometimes okay. there could be a such a slight tie that these guys are going to be 0.01 percent apart from each other so one vote will make a difference so be sure to vote absolutely all right so voting is important the brackets uh, at the end of the bracket okay so what were we looking at here today this was a um, meuna makai i screw it up every time by aka superman again aka superman you've been standing out in these competitions and your creations you've been just i remember when he came in as a very very beginner builder and uh to see you at this level absolutely amazing you're going to be climbing right to master, I can guarantee it. Really good stuff. Okay, what did you guys think of this park? Leave your comments down below, and that is going to do it for us in today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Bye now.